Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As you have seen from the title, I felt like this is quite long awaited. There's been quite a gap between my last room update. This is update number two and this will be the last video that I film before my room tour. Yes, finally. Um, which will be coming November 12th. I have a date when it's coming. I know exactly when it's going live. It will be going up on November 12th. Um, I've just had a nightmare with this room, if like, if I'm just being honest, with one item in particular, which I am going to get on to, not this item, but a bed that was originally ordered for this room, I'm going to get into it, but I have a lot of footage from before a lot of this stuff happened, that I want to include, I want to pop that in now, it's me going to Ikea, it's me picking out certain pieces of furniture that I have in here, um, it's me just showing you a little bit more in depth of the carpet and the wallpaper So I am gonna pop all of that footage in you guys can see all of that. This is from the last month or so um, And then yeah, I'll come back at halfway through Slash to the end to discuss some bigger pieces of furniture, which I want to show you guys for example these bedside tables I do want to talk to you very quickly about my bed and just give you a bit of an update before the final room tour which is coming on November 12th and hopefully by that point everything's going to be done in here we're going to have the bed up, we're going to have accessories, a mirror hopefully all of my prints are going to be up, it's just going to be a lot more in depth that video but if you are just interested in like some of my good experiences with brands, some of my not so good experiences with certain brands and just hearing a little bit more of like the update on this room because things don't happen overnight with rooms, I am fully aware of that Furniture takes a lot longer than when you're buying something like a dress online. So yeah, that's enough of me talking. Let's go back a couple weeks and start this kind of like room update situation drama, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Hi guys, so the last video that I did um, was obviously like starting out my room refurb and I had a few of you asked to kind of keep updating these sorts of videos. So I am going to do a full room tour, um, but that probably won't be for a few weeks. So I thought as a little follow up video to the last one that I filmed, I would do um, the kind of like where we're at right now because we obviously have the carpet put down, we've got the wallpaper up, which I've either shown you guys or I will show you guys afterwards. But right now we're at a bad store because I'm getting a new mattress. So I'm going to go inside, I'm going to see what I can vlog in here. I mean, I know some places are a little bit funny about filming, but oh, I nearly dropped all my contents in my handbag. But yeah, me and my mum are at this bed shop, so we're going to go and test out some beds. And I thought I would include it in today's video. Here we go. You can actually see us in the bed shop because it was just a bit much. I mean, this poor lady, she was trying to sell us a bed, but it was just quite an intense situation. Yeah, we had Lying lie down, down and then she wanted more. me to lie down for three minutes then and ask me questions. Take my jumper off, she said. Take my jumper test. off, I was like, why? Did she tell you to take yeah, your jumper off? she would take your jumper off. I was like, so we, left. Well. so we left there and I thought I better not get the camera out because I was just going to make the situation a whole lot worse. Do you know what I mean? At home, sense. see what they've got in here. Oh, wow. £250 for that. That's quite unusual. I'm not, it's not my kind of scene, each to their own, but... So that was pretty boring too. There were no bedside tables, there were no like little cute accessories, there were no mirrors. I feel like with HomeSense, it's one of those things where like, you need to try different ones to find the right one, like to find little gems, do you know what I mean? So if you do have a HomeSense, like persevere with it, but today's HomeSense just wasn't the best, but then I probably might come back next month and they'll have a load of new stock, so. Always love popping in here. We did pick up a couple candles, picked up three awesome candles and I did get a diary from like September through to next year because I just want a new diary for September, October. Does anyone else get like that sometimes? Like I just want to start fresh with a new diary. Anyway, um, so I did pick that up. So kind of a bit of an unsuccessful little trip. I will vlog when I get in and show you guys the new carpet that's gone down. It feels amazing so i'm super happy about that and we're making a bit of progress the bed is coming on saturday so i'll include that in this vlog hopefully going to go to ikea at some point and pick up a few bits as well so obviously that will be in this vlog and just a bit more of an update and then at the end of october slash early november is when i'm going to do my full room tour 
and things will just be a lot better because it'll be so much more organized my stuff will be away i wanted to give you another little update before i ended up doing my room tour so yeah that's where we're at right now I've got 101 emails to answer and I've got 101 different things to do. So I'm going to crack on with that and I'll probably check in with you guys either later today or when I'm next out buying some bits for the room. And we're going to Ikea today. So I thought I'd bring you guys with me to Ikea to see what we kind of pick up for the room. And just sort of do another little episode of this before I do the final room tour. Yeah, things will progress a lot more in this video but it won't be like completed because I want to leave that for when I do my room tour. So, we've ordered a mattress. I did go into a mattress shop and I was going to vlog in there, but I couldn't. Like, the saleswoman was so pushy. Like, you know when people are just, like, so pushy? Like, I couldn't even get my camera. I was like, I'm not even going to do that in here. So, I did end up ordering one just from M&S um, because I'm obsessed with my mum and dad's bed. It's so comfy. And their mattress is from M&S. So, I did get that from there. Bed um, was supposed to be coming this Saturday. They've cancelled my order, my delivery, sorry, for this Saturday due to a mechanical issue, um, which I'm not really sure about because I did obviously place the order for this bed back in September. So, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um... But I'll keep you guys updated on that. Hopefully we'll have some progress throughout this vlog of the bed situation. I know what chest of drawers I want to go into Ikea and get today. So that's a little bit organised. And I know what bed sides I want to order for the room. But let's show you what we're working with. Let's take you in there. So we did have the carpet put in. I think I filmed when the carpet was like first put in. And there were all the little bits on it. But it has been hoovered since. Even though I've been walking around in here a lot. I did film a pretty little thing video the other day. So it was a great little setup because... Obviously, I have got loads of natural light in here right now and loads of room. So, yeah, this is a box of my stuff, which I need to obviously organise. We have got the wallpaper on the walls. So, let's turn this light on. I really don't know how well you guys are going to pick it up on this camera. But it's really lovely because it's quite a subtle kind of paper. Obviously, this is like that 3D sort of texture to it. Um, I really, really love it. It's so what I wanted. I wanted something that was quite neutral. Hopefully you guys can see it a little bit more. Now I've stuck the ring light on. Oh my gosh, I really love this. And then obviously I've had the carpet, which is so comfy and squishy and just really, really nice. Sorry if you don't like feet. Um, and then these walls have just been painted and this has been like refreshed and painted. So yeah, we've got the blinds that are coming soon. So things are happening, even though you're probably thinking what is actually happening. I've started to kind of get a few of my bags out and sort them out. This is a whole other matter of issues. Good Goodness knows what's going to go on there. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an intro before we start today's video. But yeah, we are heading down to Ikea. I feel like Ikea trips are always fun. I always like to watch people's vlogs when they're in Ikea. Why is that a thing? I do not know. So I thought I would bring you guys with me today, see what we pick up, and yeah, progress a little bit more. Sorry that these aren't super regular, these videos. I did have someone ask me, like, when's your next video coming like, of the update? It's because things are quite stagnant at the moment. Like, the deliveries of these things take a while sometimes. So I've just kind of been waiting for that. But fingers crossed we're getting a little bit further ahead with this room situation because I feel so bad. I'm still in my sister's room. She's coming back from uni this weekend, so we're going to have to share her bed, which will be quite funny. Um, but I just kind of want to be back in my space now, to be honest. So we're in Ikea. We've made it here, everyone. Um, we're trying to buy this like chest of drawers, which hopefully is gonna fit in the car, we think. We're not really too sure, but we thought we'd come for a little browse anyway, you know, little Ikea trip. Although normally I'm not a massive fan of this place, but you never know, it might change today. <laughs> Cute little kitchen here. Show everyone on the vlog. Oh my God, cuteness. I'm not, I'm not obviously having my kitchen done, but you know, Cute. Does anyone else automatically think of 500 Days of Summer when they come to an Ikea? Because I just think of that movie now because it's obviously in that movie so much, like the iconic scenes of that movie. They're really big drawers, don't yeah, you think? The set. I think they are. Oh, those are the dividers. I think they're really big drawers. Now it comes in, is that the white? I think that's what you want. Yeah. So it's going to be like that. It also comes in white stain. No. No. No, I prefer this, don't you? Yeah, it's smooth, yes yeah. I do. Let's make sure of that. You just lifted your head up and you're right. Oh no, I don't want to be in there. Hey Wait. guys, so I thought I'd come in here and give you another little room update. I'm not sure when I did the last one, but it's probably looking very similar to before. However, we did 
go and purchase this from Ikea. My mum put the whole thing together, which is kind of crazy because honestly, this is quite difficult to put together. As you guys can see, nothing has knobs on it and it's because I don't like the knobs that come on this chest. So we're gonna go and get some different ones from Anthropology. but this is just really useful for me. Like I really needed some extra storage. That is essentially why I have got this. It's just practical. I really, really need the storage. I've already started putting stuff in this bottom drawer. I've got these little drawers which would be very useful along the top. Here, we are gonna have my bed. I have had loads of issues with this bed. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I will go into it once it's arrived. They've changed delivery dates on me. It's been, a, it's been a bit of a nightmare, to be quite honest. But I absolutely love it, so I'm just holding out hope for that. My bedside tables are coming today, and they're gonna go on either side. So I'll show you guys when they arrive today. I've got my cushions here that I bought way back when I was in America, but now I can kind of show you them. I am so obsessed. I think this is a really nice kind of like color match. So they're like a really soft kind of baby pink, which I absolutely love. Here's the other one. And they're such lovely cushions, I think, um, for my bed. So yeah, that's gonna be like my little accent color, which I haven't shown you guys that yet, but they're just in the corner of the room, so I thought I would. So as you can see, I had a little bit of a journey to get to this point. Um, some of the items I will link below that I can link, like the IKEA drawer set that you guys did just see, I'm gonna show you that in depth now. I'm also gonna show you guys these bedsides and talk to you a little bit about my bed from the company that I now have my bed from and kind of what the update is on that and also from the bed company that I was previously trying to order from, which you guys did hear me mention a few times in this video. So let's start out with my chest of drawers. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is my chest. I have some of my bedding and pillows and all of that stuff down there. there. I also have some of my prints, which I'm gonna get into in my room tour. I'm not gonna go into them in this video, but I wanna just show you guys my chest, which you did see when I showed you guys this whilst we were in I Ikea. I ended up going for this chest. I just felt like for me, for storage, it's gonna be amazing. I've already filled this up with everything. So yeah, I'll just show you a little bit of what is going on. I have, for example, all of my gym wear bits in here. Guys know I'm not the biggest gym fan in the world, but I still have a drawer for gym stuff. Can anyone relate to me there? Then I have all of my like joggers, tracksuits, hoodies in there. Um, in this drawer, I have all of my electronics, all of my camera equipment, stuff like that. And yeah, these are all now filled up. But yeah, overall, I have been super happy, happy with this piece that I ordered from Ikea. My mum is just a miracle worker. She basically put this together. Um, I helped her a little bit, but it was super easy. With the Ikea furniture, it is so easy to put together. It just takes a little bit of a while, but I think it was great, and I really like how this looks. However, I am gonna be changing these kind of like knobs on the drawers. So I did wanna show you guys the knobs that I'm actually gonna be replacing these with. They are from Anthropology. I think we could do a little unboxing together of these. I have actually already had a bit of a peek and I saw them in store. I actually ordered these online and I will drop a link to them below. They're really reasonably priced. I'm really reasonably priced. They're relatively reasonably priced. They are six pounds per door um, knob. However, I went into B&Q thinking they would be a little bit cheaper and they were five pounds in there. So for the extra pound, the quality of these was so much better than the ones that I found in B&Q. So I just thought I'd let any of you know if you are looking for this sort of thing. So this is what they look like. They are essentially like a little glass um, kind of bubble with like all of this kind of like almost holographic effect to it. Not too much, but it just has like the bubbles in. It's a little bit pinky. I just really like them. I thought they were a little bit different and I think I'm gonna prefer how they're gonna look on this chest. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop all of these on right now. This is obviously what the drawers come with. This kind of detailed to them and then if you want to update them or go for something different then you can it's totally up to you if you prefer more of the contrast and the traditional look then you can totally leave them but for my bedroom i wanted something that was a little bit lighter a little bit more different so i just went for these kind of like glass ones like i said i will link these below they are from anthropology i'm going to go ahead and do this side but I just wanna show you guys the difference. So if you wanna leave them as they are, you totally can. If you wanna have something, you can have like crazy things, honestly. I will leave Anthropology's website below, but they do all sorts of different styles. So you can pick something that really suits you. But um, I quite like this kind of glass look to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. But yeah, it just kind of makes it look a little bit more, I feel like bedroom vibes. Obviously you can totally keep them as they were, but I do feel like this makes it a little bit quirky and a little bit different. Um, and they do so many different options in Anthropology, as well as B&Q and as well as Amazon, just if you are looking for places to buy this sort of thing. 
um but i really like them i think they're a little bit different and i love i actually really really like this chest it's so practical for me for storage and it's something that i really desperately needed but i will pop a link to that chest i'll also pop a link if i can to this wallpaper i've had a few of you guys ask me about this it's by roma i actually got this from john lewis um, but obviously it's like a separate brand that sells in John Lewis. I also had a few questions about my wall lights. These are also John Lewis. I don't have spotlights in this room. I just have wall lights, which really doesn't bother me actually. And I actually think these are quite pretty. I've had these forever. I actually had these in my old room and I didn't want to change them out because I think they are that kind of like antique sort of glass look. And I personally really like that. So wallpaper and the wall lights are John Lewis. The carpet was elsewhere. I can't remember where the carpet was from. I did show clips of the carpet earlier on in this video. And it's just a really nice luxurious carpet. That I feel like for a bedroom has a really nice feel to it. So now moving on to my bedsides. Now these are quite large bedsides. I am fully aware that these are a lot bigger than your average bedside table. And I do really like small little bedside tables. I think they look lovely. Again for me personally I literally needed the storage. It's just a practicality issue i needed this lovely like big storage now these are from a brand called picture perfect and i couldn't have had more of a better experience by the way absolutely nothing in this video is um gifted nothing is gifted this is all organic reviews wholeheartedly just want to let you know um, i paid for these so yeah but they were from a brand called picture perfect i actually found them on pinterest and i kind of took the risk of ordering from them and i had such an amazing experience the delivery was literally three days i think um if they have what you want in stock they have such a range of things they do this really pretty kind of like glass furniture they do stuff that has like sparkles to it or if that's something you're interested in they have a lot of variety of things so i will drop a link to their website below picture perfect homes i think is what they're called um and i'm super impressed what i love about these bedsides is they have this kind of like champagne gold detail to them and this is something that i really want to continue elsewhere in this room i'm a massive fan of this almost like it's almost in between gold and silver it's like a champagne sort of color um and i really really like it so I'm really happy with these. I think they look lovely. This is what the bedside is looking like. Just for those of you that are interested, it's really quite big. It gives me a lot of storage and I love how they look. I'm still into this whole mirrored thing. Um, and I think it goes really nicely with everything else in this room. And now for the tea. Now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about my bed. So this is the bed from the lovely company Comfy Sleeps Home. I am gonna list them below. They have been absolutely amazing to be honest with you guys. The quality of this bed is so so good for the price now i got the double in the imperial style again i'm going to pop a link below essentially it means that the headboard is studded as well as the sides of this bed you guys are going to see this in way more depth in my room tour i will show you it all dressed and beautiful but i did want to include it in this room update because it has literally just arrived the color i went for is the silver which actually it might surprise some of you because for me this is definitely more of like a warmy kind of silver which is exactly what I wanted I literally wanted this color exactly I'm so happy with the color it was something I was really worried about when I ordered it online because I didn't want it to be too gray because personally I prefer a slightly warmer tint than the gray just literally personal preference um so I'm really happy with this I will leave all of the relevant information in the description box below as well as their Instagram and website now unfortunately the base that arrived was for a king so this is the base that's arrived for my bed and this is unfortunately for a king and i ordered a double so they are bringing me a replacement for the base tomorrow so the bed should all be done tomorrow but i just wanted to get this video up for you guys like right now so it is going to be a gas storage bed as you can see it has these things which is where you kind of elevate the bed and then put it down and you can see i'm already putting all of my summer clothes under the bed because I think that's what I'm going to store under there is like bikinis, denim shorts, all of like my summery clothes that I'm not planning on wearing for a little while. I couldn't be happier with a comfy sleeps home and I just wanted to let you guys know my positive experience with them before I start talking about my not so positive experience with a different company. I will give you guys a little bit of um, background story on this. So originally I ordered a bed from a company called... Um, the luxury bed company on instagram um i paid for the bed in full this was not gifted this was not discounted absolutely nothing i paid for it full i know they gift a lot of beds on their instagram account to a lot of the um geordie shaw girls or the reality tv girls as well as a lot of youtubers they gift beds basically all the time um which is obviously absolutely fine you run a business you run it on social media that's just kind of the way of the modern world 
but I had such an awful experience with that company that I just want to make you guys aware if you were like me and you're just like a, a general buying customer that does watch Instagram and social media and that is how you are influenced to buy products which is how I am as well that was why I heard of the company it was through influencers um, and I had a really awful experience and I think unfortunately they're prioritizing their you know reality tv stars or their instagram kind of stars and not the people that are paying out like i paid out full for that bed 750 quid or whatever it was so just please be careful um i ordered the bed back in august and i was kind of getting like dragged along i guess with no real update no delivery date um i had a phone call in september like oh do you have any updates for me yeah it should be coming soon didn't really hear from them i would ring them they wouldn't answer me they wouldn't answer my emails um eventually someone told me a date i was really excited two days before i got a phone call basically not going to happen then i was given another another date again a week before oh unfortunately we had a problem with the mechanism of the bed then it was the fabric they couldn't get hold of this went on and on and on which when you put down that lump sum back in august to have no idea when the bed's going to be coming in the middle of october is really frustrating to be honest with you um and the last phone call that i had with them in october before i cancelled my order was look guys do you have a date for me do you have a date when this is coming like i haven't had a bed for two months um and they were basically like we don't know we we have an issue with the fabric we don't know when it's going to be coming pretty much was the answer that i got they obviously didn't want me to cancel my order but after that long i just felt very uncomfortable with them having the money for that long and not knowing when there was going to be an update so i did cancel my order it then took about two and a half weeks for the money to actually come back into my account. I was told it would be three to five working days. Working days. Everything's pretty instant now. I think most of us know that. But yeah, three to five working days. It wasn't. I sent numerous emails. I then actually filed like a claim with Amex to say that they weren't refunding me. It, all in all, it was a nightmare. I, ju I just want to be real. It was a nightmare. I'm very scared to say this because I know brands don't like it when you speak out publicly if you have a negative experience but i'm was a paying customer just like any of you guys and i just don't want you to have a bad experience with a brand and um, that i've had a bad experience with and that's what this is all about it's just sharing our experiences and what you know happens to us so you might have ordered from them you might have a lovely bed you might you know have had the best experience with them and if that's the case then that's great i did um after my like not so great experiences started to happen because they, they were quite rude on customer service as well but they were really rude actually um i went on trust pilot to see that they had numerous bad reviews which obviously they don't have on instagram they monitor their own comments i mean i commented a couple times if any of you guys saw over on instagram on their account and my comments were deleted so um yeah my comments were actively deleted which was interesting so yeah, that's just my experience. I don't want this to be a really negative video. I'm so excited about my room and I'm so, so happy with Comfy Sleeps Home, which have sorted me out with my bed so quickly. I placed my order and two weeks later, the bed had basically been delivered. I'm just waiting for the base bit to come tomorrow or on Wednesday. So a completely different experience. I had constant communication with them via Instagram and I hadn't given up a lot of money because I only paid a £50 deposit. So I didn't feel as petrified, you could say, as I did with the other company where I'd paid the whole fee up front and I was basically struggling to get a hold of anyone. It was really concerning me. Um, and then obviously when I asked for my money back, it took quite a while. So yeah i just i just want to keep it real this is not to throw like to slate everyone it's just i just want you guys to know what i experienced so maybe you can be a bit more wary or careful with who you spend your money on um and i did have a few of you inbox me on instagram and say please can you just let us know i'm looking at buying a bed and i really don't want to have the same experience as you so that's what that is all about that's what's taken so long to arrive um obviously i ordered that in august and now we are at the end of october going into november and i only cancelled my order two and a half weeks ago so i had absolutely zero update at the beginning of october they had no idea when the bed was going to arrive um so yeah just my two cents um but i'm really excited to obviously get this all done and show you guys my full completed updated room tour on november 12th so yeah guys this is the updated room situation so far i hope this has given you a little bit more of an insight than the last video i feel like the last video was just kind of stripping everything out this actually has some solid furniture in it we have the bedsides the bed somewhat the chest of drawers 
things are coming it's getting better in here um i hope it was informative for some of you or some of you kind of enjoyed this little update but if you didn't and you're like oh georgia just want to see the finished room it is coming it's coming on november 12th i will be in here everything will be up and it will be completely finished so look out for that if that is something that you're interested in thank you guys so much for kind of asking me about my room and my update it's really sweet of all of you that are really like interested in it if you did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a comment and a like please hit the little not notification bell check me out on insta and um keep updated for the next one thank you guys so so much for watching all of your lovely kind comments i can't believe we're at seventy thousand. it's just amazing that was actually my goal back in january and i never really thought it would happen so thank you so so much and i will see you all in my next video bye guys